so hey guys today i'm going to show you how to do this effect so first of all you need to open fusion studio or you can also use the vinci visual application and after that you have to take a hexagon node and select the hexagon node and drag it to the viewer and then select the hexagon node and increase the size to fit the height like that and then you have to select the hexagon node again and select the paint node and drag this paint node to the viewer and then select polygon stroke tool and create a line and then hit enter on your keyboard and then again select the polyline stroke and create a line on this side like that and then you have to select the paint node and take a transform node and select the transform node and take it to the viewer and after that you have to select the edges to mirror and then decrease the size so i'm gonna set this size to this and after that take a background node and take a ellipse mask and connect with it and select the background tool and drag it to the viewer and then choose the color whatever you want so i'm gonna choose this color and select the ellipse mask and uh, increase the soft edge like that and then select the background color to adjust the color little bit after that we have to choose this as a foreground so connect with it like that and then select the mask node and uh, select the operator to in and then drag the merge one to the viewer you can see we get this kind of effect and if you want to decrease the area so you can do that by selecting the ellipse mask and decrease the size and after that take a background node and connect with it as a foreground and select the merge to drag it to the viewer and select the background three to adjust the color now you can see we get this kind of effect and now we can animate this whatever we want and we can also increase or decrease the size so so if you want to animate this thing you can do it very easily to the inspector setting so i'm gonna show you a uh, keyframing to the level so set a keyframe here and go to few frame ahead and decrease uh, decrease the level like uh, that and uh, then you have to go to spline and select the ellipse and fit it and then select all hit s on your keyboard to smooth this animation and then select all and right click and set a loop so set a loop to ping pong so now if i play it you can see it's animating so you can also use these uh, parameters to animate these things so that's all for this video and i will see you in the next video